check out my new charging setup. What do you guys think? Hey everyone, so today I'm gonna to talk about removing the panel, the interior trim, the door panel uh, of your Tesla Model 3. Uh, the reason why I'm doing it is there's a bit of a rattle inside there. It's, it's really minor, but you know, I got nothing else better to do. So I'm gonna try and remove this panel and see if I can locate the, you know, the rattle and see if I can fix it. So uh, let's go to the first part or the first step that you gotta do, which is pretty simple. You gotta roll down your window. So just, you know, put that down to its lowest position. So next, there are three places on the door panel that have screws uh, that you have to remove. So the size of the torque screw you need is a T25. So that's this one here. I've already inserted it uh, in my driver here, but yes, it is the T25 sized one uh, that will fit the screws uh, in this door. The first one is, is the most obvious one here. Uh, it is underneath the armrest and it is right there. So if you can see there, that's the first screw you have to remove. The second one is actually here and it's hidden underneath a little plastic part here. So if you put your finger underneath here and you pop it out and this piece comes out. So there's a little, there's a bit of a area that you can put your finger underneath and you pull and this whole piece just comes out. So keep that somewhere safe. And then in there, uh, if I can, if you can see, okay, so that part there, inside there, is the second Torx screw you have to remove. All right, so the third one is on the outside of the door panel. It's underneath this reflector here. So for this one, you have to get a screwdriver, pop this out, and then there should be a screw underneath. So let me do that, uh, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I just popped that off. Uh, this is the reflector, it just sits in there. Uh, you just put, a, put the screwdriver underneath and you kind of pull, uh, and then this piece pops out. Uh, it tells you which way is up, so that's good. So if you forgot which way it came out, there's a little arrow that says up. So just make sure that it, you got put it in this way and it should be fine. So inside here is the third Torx screw uh, that you have to undo. And then after that, it's just held in by clips. So let's, let's take a look at that. All right, so to remove the panel, basically there's just some clips around the edge of the panel and you wanna just pull outwards. Okay, it was actually easier to pull from the top because you have a bit more uh, grip. So I guess you just keep pulling and more things start popping out. It does feel like you're breaking things, but just slowly work your way around the edges. Okay, so I have just popped off this panel. Uh, you'll see that there is a lot of foam padding in there, uh, but the clips are essentially around the edges here. So that's a clip, clip, two down here, one here, uh, one here, one there, one there, and two at the top. Uh, there's actually no clips on the top edge where the window is, so it might be easier to start pulling from, from here and then work your way around. Uh, it looks like one of the plastic clips came off from here. I believe this plastic, this, this white part should stay inside the frame. So like, like here, so this is like the, I guess the, I don't know, the, the female side to the, the male side of this clip over here. So yeah, I mean, I guess as long as it's not broken, it should be fine. But yeah, so this is what the inside of the door panel looks like. Now, there was a bit of a rattle. Uh, I'll take a look around inside uh, and I'll, I guess I'll see what I can find. But yeah, but this is basically how you remove your door panel on your Model 3. Okay, so I, uh, I basically put foam and tape anywhere that I saw was rattling. So I just kind of taped this thing down. I put some more tape here. I kind of put some kind of foam things here. Basically any cable that I could see was touching anything, I tried to put something soft between it. Uh, similar thing for underneath this foam here. So uh, looks kind of bad, but yeah, I basically taped down any 
uh, cable that could potentially be hitting a hard surface. Um, and hopefully that does the trick, but I guess I won't really know until I go for a drive. So yeah, I taped down all this stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna put it back together and see what it looks like. So to start putting it back together, uh, I found the easiest way is actually to hook it up here. So if I can remove this again, you'll see these black tabs there, that one there, that one there, and uh, at the end, that one there. They basically hang into the window trim. So you wanna hang it on the top first, like that. It's probably hard to see on camera, but basically those clips are now hanging onto the door and now you can push in the rest of the clips. So let me try that. Okay, so everything's back in. We're gonna uh, pop this piece back in. Just goes in to here. Clips in like that. And then the last piece is the uh, reflector. That's it, all done. Um, so yeah, just making sure the door works. Okay, and just raise the window. Perfect, works. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, that's how you remove your door panel and put it back together again. I uh, hope this was useful and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.